morning. <laughs> come in. Come in, come in, come in. Okay, so although a lot of you have seen the caravan, you haven't actually really seen it. So we're gonna just do a little walkthrough and yeah, just show you where things are and what's what and yeah, let's just go with it. Right, so these are just where we keep all our clothes and there is a vacuum stored in here as well just because um, we haven't really sussed out where to put this. This is a new item. How much was this? 130, 129. From Kmart. Kmart, yeah. I've used it once so far. Brilliant. Honestly, yep. amazing. Um, I don't know how it will go charging though. Haven't done that yet. We um, charged it in the house, but we haven't charged it in the caravan, so. We'll see how we go with that. Yeah, we'll keep it updated with that one. But this is Jack's side. So there's all his clothes. Nice space there, and then he's also got a cupboard, cupboard down here as well. I don't know what's in here. Just um, <coughs> underwear, <coughs> things like that. Spot in here. No, no. <laughs> and then we do have these cupboards up here as well. These are also for our clothes. So Jack has cupboard and. One. One. That's all I get. <laughs> and I've got a cupboard and two. My tops. And these are my bottoms. Nice and neat. <laughs> <laughs> and then these are all my long hanging stuff. Jumpers, jacket, stuff like that. Um, yeah. I do also have exercise mat in there. Scales. And... Um, Weights. Little bits and bobs we do hide in there that are USB points in there. So we charge our phones. And you are running into a problem with dresses, aren't you? Where to hang dresses? Yeah, well I do hang these ones I hang so I fold them over like fold this. Oh, yeah. But I do have a lot the wedding that we're going to it's really long and I can't really hang it like that, so it's just in its packet right now. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with that word comes to it. I just let some volume. We just say we never actually really use that, <laughs> do we? No. Ever. I have a little nook here as well, that's for my books and my pyjamas. Should we go under the bed? Yep. Do you even know what's under there? No. Nope. <laughs> so find out though. Four. It's just storage. Yep, diesel heater, a little bit of electrics, mainly storage. Yeah. All my stuff. But there's a lot of space under here, guys, so you could fit. Yeah, well, we've just jammed everything. <laughs> Hidden it away in there. So, yeah. Four! And that ruins my bed. But we'll deal with that later. Loads of kitchen cupboards, loads of cupboards in general, actually. So this is our bin. This is Jack being lazy, just putting the toaster here. It's meant to go behind the bin. It's close. Um, kettle and what do you call this? Like a heat presser thing, like Toasties. sound. Yeah. Whatever. Toasty maker. We use that a lot, actually. Yeah. Um, probably one of the best investments we've had. This is such a bad design, actually, <laughs> because if you don't open it fully, these cupboards whack. It goes here. Look like that. Yep, as you can see the marks there. Yeah. So that's probably a pretty crap design for Avan. But usual. No, I've been cutlery and crap. Oh. I was looking for that this morning. Found it now. <laughs> yeah, so just bowls, plates. We got four of everything. Two cups. Two mugs, should I say? Just in case we have visitors. Three mugs. <laughs> What do you got there? Three gas rings and one electric. We never ever have used the electric. Have we? No, and we have got this off because of the swift problem. Um, caravan 
Swift company, whatever, they've got a problem going on and that's their remedy is pull the plug out. You don't use that one until it gets fixed. So we're still sort of waiting, waiting for that. To... Forever waiting. Yep. Cereal cupboard. Pantries. <laughs> yeah, and then this is just a mess. <laughs> Basically, I don't know what's in here. Bread. Bread. Oh, that's a good. That's a good cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> Your favourite? Yeah, we we're very worried actually that when you go over corrugations, it would smash. But lo and behold, that's no, they're all right. Last famous words and all that. <laughs> Later, they're big all over the floor. <laughs> Pots and pans, tea towels, there's nothing in there is there, no. this is in waste. That's our water pump and all the sort of hidden stuff for under the sink and oven. Pantry, lots of goods full in of, there. Full of weird and wonderful stuff. Probably mic goes back like this. <laughs> yeah. Microwave. Boring. Self explanatory? Yep. Fridge, freezer. Freezer's really small, so we do have another one in the back of the car. Yep. Although, saying that, we've got nothing in here, really. Yep. Uh, uh, it is a three way fridge as well, which we are looking at replacing one day whenever we sort of get some money behind us. Uh, we find it uses a lot of gas and a lot of power. Um, and we just, you can't go wrong with a 12 volt fridge. So the fridge is nice size though. Yep, the really good size, just... whole thing. And always close this before you go. Yeah. <laughs> In our old van, we used to forget the pin and disaster. Pull up at some little camp spots and they just have <laughs> yogurt and crap all over the floor, which was not my problem, but. Not fine. <laughs> These cupboards are also. Just more storage. I've got an air, air fryer. fryer. There's a blanket in there. And this is washing and my dress. <laughs> <laughs> um, this does turn into a bed, am I right? Yep. Never used it. So yeah. the table drops down to level with the lounge, sofa, sofa. Lounge, whatever. And I believe it does come with another mattress or a bit of a mattress that goes on top of the table. And not that we've got that anymore. We, yeah, we've never used it. So. Yeah. Um, bathroom. Oh, actually, this is a new thing as well. Oh, Ashley. Oh, hello. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a new mirror on here. 20, oh, sorry, it was $28 from Bunnings. We couldn't get a hold of one from Kmart, but I think they're pretty much the exact same. Kmart was $22, and we've just double sided taped it on there. Yeah, and hoping for the best. Yeah. But so far so good. Yeah, it is a little bit heavier, the door now, but it's all right. Yeah, I'm very impressed with that. Although I haven't even used it, I forgot <laughs> it's there. <laughs> Bathroom, just your standard. It's quite small, the shower. It's perfect for me, but small for Jack, obviously. He's very tall. Yeah. Um, and we did get a lot of people saying we should hang the mirror from the door. Oh, too on this, um, we have it is like a pull-out door, so it's very flimsy. Uh, it does the job, gets hidden right away, mm -hmm. but just no chance of getting a mirror on there. Um, these are just more storage, toiletries and stuff, toiletries, and then a hair dryer. More. Uh, these. I should have got rid of that one. This is a new hair dryer that I bought from England. And I do have straighteners as well. So I used to carry proper straighteners, PhDs, but now my mum got these for my birthday. So handy. Oh, wireless. Wireless. So you just charge them, plug them in, they're not charged, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, so I need to charge them actually. But yeah, you just plug them into a. USC? USB C, yeah. USB C. Oh, yeah. So they'll go off now because they're not really charged, but brilliant if you are travelling. Quite expensive, but worth it because my old straighteners used to use a use lot a of power. Lot of power. And you can just charge those as you're driving, really. Yeah. So, yeah, um, they are wicked. We have got USB points sort of everywhere down there. 
that you can plug them into, charge them up. Nice and compact as well. What else you got in there? Toilet? Well, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing to see there. <laughs> um, these are just waste of space again. Towels. Yep. There's a lot of storage. Jack. Oh. <laughs> Jack's winter clothes I did not know <laughs> was in there. Sorry guys. Let's just close that. And Cleaning. So it. those three little spaces, we could probably put little doors on there and make more space, but... You end up bringing just, more stuff that you don't need. We've got loads of space already. Three, six, nine, twelve cupboards at the top. And you've shown them already a diesel heater and stuff. Yep. You? you would have seen a diesel heater on the last, well, episode, couple of episodes behind. Uh, all our electrical system is under here, which is... Bit of a nightmare to get up, but we're running a 3000 watt uh, Renergy inverter and well, that runs the whole caravan pretty much. We haven't had any problems with that. Runs the aircon, as you'd all know. Uh, we've also got a 60 amp solar charge controller uh, with around 600 watts of solar on the roof, so that keeps the batteries recharged. Well, the battery, which is a 260 amp hour lithium, so. That's probably one of our best investments, that battery. But that's about it for inside, isn't it? That is it, what I can think of. So overall, a well, it's a perfect little van for us, perfect size for us. Uh, if you had a, I, I guess another, another person here, kid or something, it would be pushing it to the limits there. Um, but as for storage. It still work while they're young, but. Yeah, yeah. you start to run out of storage there. Um, but that's about it. Let's look through the inside of our little hay van. Now onto the outside. Uh, you would have seen this a lot over the last couple of videos, so I'll be short and sweet here for social editing. Uh, we are running two 80 litre water tanks, I believe, giving us 160 litres. Um, mounted right above the axles there, so that's perfect weight distribution. Just the one nine kilo gas bottle, uh, simply because we're trying to go as close as we can off grid as possible. Um, I know it's not really feasible, but we're getting as close as we can. No. As for the toolbox as well, this is a new toolbox for us. We previously had a lot smaller one that opened outwards and everything seemed to fall out. But in the toolbox, we've just got small handy tools, uh, CRC, just little bits and pieces that we're constantly using, contact cleaner, rags, that sort of thing, and the jockey wheel. Uh, it also houses the little diesel heater fuel tank, which is nice and hidden away. So handy box that one. Uh, a lot bigger than the last one that we had. So as for our solar setup, um, this isn't a finished product. We still do need to put another two panels down there, hence the wiring sort of sitting out there. Uh, we are running a 130 watt panel here, 130 watt panel there, and also the big one there being a 430 watt panel, giving us roughly 600 and something, almost 700 watts of solar. For now, but we do want to add another 400 down the back there just to try and get us even further off grid and then not a lot happening this side we have got a barbecue on a pull out slide there and that's really all there is on this side the pull out slide this is probably one of the best little setups we've got for a barbecue as the ziggy you can close the lid like that have a full sort of barbecue there open it up and then it can be hidden If I can do it one-handed. There we go, nice and easy. But that's pretty much the outside. We'll get back on the inside and so she can finish up. She's going to have fun editing this. So that will just about do us, I think. Quick run through um, in this small little van. But yeah, um, we've been meaning to do this for ages, so... Um, yeah, glad we finally got it done and you guys can see uh, what we're living in and any questions just obviously pop them in the comment box below and we will get back to you yep. and that's about it though and we are on the road already so stay tuned for <laughs> Tuesday when our first episode comes out yeah back um, on the road heading across the Nullarbor yes heading across Australia yes that's the one so yeah <laughs> Thanks, guys, and we will see you on Tuesday. Bye.
Overall, good little van. Uh, what was the saying? But, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the top opened right up instead of... No. As for the toolbox, it is a new toolbox as well. Uh, we just sort of store small tools that we need. That are... No.